Jenna Elizabeth Johnson here in the Black Swamp, which is behind the neighborhood where Megan and Tully live. And this area is very neat. It has a lot of trees and it's the perfect hiding place for Fela to sneak around. What we'll do today is we'll walk down and I am hoping to show you the canyon where the Dolmaran is located. Also, if you've read my Ossian books, you'll recognize this area as the inspiration for the Bellows of the Black Swamp. So we're going to take our time going down there and hopefully we'll see something interesting. that Megan takes to school when she decides to walk. It's also the same trail that she came down when Fergus led her to the swamp when they met Kate for the first time. And if you remember correctly, there were several encounters with Fela along this way. And I'm not sure we might see some today. The trees have been kind of creaky and the fog is rolling in. So we'll have to wait to see what happens. shot a better shot of the swamp as we were passing by I thought it would be a good shot for you guys to see how nice it is down here and we're also getting a lot closer to the area where Megan was attacked by the Kumori oh, and then we have a friend up in the trees hopefully it's a nice otherworldly creature So up ahead on the trail here is this really neat bower that is created by these trees. And through the other side, we'll find the trail that will lead to the Dolmaran. But this is also the area where Megan and her friends came to have the bonfire on Samhain. And where they saw, where they heard Fela crawling around. So let's go check it out. I'm sitting in the meadow where Megan got attacked by the Kumor that night that Fergus led her out of her house when she was still sleeping. You could also kind of imagine this place as the area where she and her friends had their fire. Although in the book, I think I imagined it on the other side of the road. However, there are a lot of trees over there. So sometimes as an author, you get to embellish a little and make up your own setting. whether or not the swamp had two entrances, one behind Megan's house, and there's also one that comes from the road. And this road will eventually lead to the highway where her high school is found. And this is the same road that her friends drove on to get to their bonfire night on Samhain. But it's also the road that Cade parked his Trans Am on when they went to the other world. walking for a little while and we've reached kind of a low point in the swamp area and the wetlands area and behind me you can see the start of a canyon and at the end of this canyon is where the Dolmaran that leads into the other world sits. So we're going to walk this way so if you'll come with me we'll check it out.
Here we've come to the point in the canyon where you can see a lot of trees have died and fallen, and some of them are crisscrossing. And if you remember from Ariad, if you've read Ariad, uh, this is the area where Cade and Fergus encounter a Fela, and they have to take care of it. Well, we've made it to the end of this little canyon, and unfortunately there's not really a cave. I kind of invented that for the story. So it doesn't look like we'll go to the other world today, but then again, I'm not Faye Lauren, so unfortunately I can't make it over there. However, while we were walking around back here, we did find this really neat crevice. So if you want to use your imagination, I guess that could work as the portal to the other world.